GitHub repository provides example Postman collections consuming SAP Business by Design product audit APIs, which explains how to create, update, and read material and service products. The requirements are access to the SAP Business by Design portal and the Postman application. Download and install the Postman application. Once you install the Postman application, it looks like this. And uh, download the custom audit services, Postman collection, Postman environment from the GitHub repository. As part of the configuration process, first go to the application user management work center, the audit services, work center view, and the custom audit services. Here you should be able to find and upload the material and services relevant to custom audit services. Once you upload it and activate it successfully, you would see these lists available, which is appearing. Then open one of them and uh, edit and make sure that the status is active. Once it's active, it has the URL associated with it. As part of the second step, make sure you import the uh, Postman uh, uh, custom auditor service. And as a collection, you would see these uh, uh, folders and the services uh, uh, coming up and also import the environment, uh, environment associated with it. Once you import it, you would see the environment coming up and in the environment, uh, you edit the tenant URL to the actual tenant URL and the username and the password of the business design uh, application. You have that entered. Yeah, and uh, you would see that uh, you would you would have access to this and run the, uh, the Postman collection. And here you would see once you click on run, the product data, um, uh, the Postman collection start running. As you could see, the percentage it's increasing. It's creating the material. It's creating the material specific uh, information. Here you open the uh, the product, copy the product ID uh, in the Postman um, response and try opening the material that is created uh, by the Postman collection. As you could see, it's visible. It has certain information like uh, that is entered in the uh, request. It has the ID, quantity conversion, and other relevant information. It has the purchasing information, and it has the logistics information, and the planning information as well, along with the information that is entered in the, the service request uh, data. And it also has the availability, sales information along with the sales organization channel information and valuation along with company and business assistance information. So uh, whatever data entered in the service, it's uh, reflected. And uh, let's look at the service as well along with the material. The service that got created is this, copy the ID, open the uh, uh, service product that got created in the system. Try navigating to all services and then look for the service that got created. There should be one. Confirm the service ID, description, and all the other information that is entered along with purchase, sales information, and valuation information. Yeah. So the data that is entered in the uh, uh, postman is reflected. So here you make sure that uh, the service. Uh, 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 is assigned a work center called a product data work center. That's where the UI uh, and uh, the business object it belongs to the material and uh, it has the material root information like the internal ID, description, unit of measure and along with that it also has some uh, uh, base unit of measure yeah, which is coming from the common node. So basically, there is a, uh, the fields that are appearing in the UI are selected from the business object material, uh, uh, from the relevant uh, business object nodes. Yeah, and uh, those fields are the one which are part of the, the auditor service itself. So that, that, that's the general, uh, that belongs to the general uh, tab uh, of the UI uh, of the uh, material um, business object and for the quantity conversion in the UI it's uh, re uh, it's relevant and coming from the uh, quantity uh, uh, quantity conversion node yeah that's as you could see it's part of the material PO and all the relevant fields of the quantity conversion node are the one uh, which are appearing in the UI as well yeah which belongs to the corresponding quantity and actual quantity 
and the purchasing information in the UI can be seen like it has the status and the unit of measure so that is selected from the relevant business object nodes and it's placed under the material connection and in the logistics uh, the status and the site information uh, uh, along with the unit of measure is uh, uh, selected in the UI and the relevant fields are selected on in the material inventory process information collection which is coming from the business object and the planning in the U planning uh, uh, information like uh, the planning area, the UI are, are relevant to the supply planning process information collection. They are also selected from the business object uh, uh, node. Yeah. And uh, availability can similarly the, the, the rest of the information uh, from the UI are selected. So in the availability confirmation, uh, it has uh, the relevant fields of the UI it can be matched and uh, selected from the relevant nodes of the material uh, availability confirmation. Similarly, sales and valuation. Yeah, in the sales, we select sales organization distribution channel along with the sales unit of measure and the item group. So those are part of the sales processing for node of the material business object. So they are selected as part of the material sales process information collection of the data service. Similarly, the valuation. The valuation uh, tab of the UI has company, business residents, uh, uh, and the unit of measure. So those are selected from the, uh, the relevant business object node called material uh, financial process information and made it as part of the collection uh, in the auditor service. Having said this, uh, uh, for, for the certain fields of the material, so let's take a look at the service. In this case, service also belongs to the UI products uh, data and the business object service product data. And uh, the relevant header or general information fields are part of the root node. Yeah, so those are uh, selected and made it as part of the service product collection. And the quantity conversion in the UI, quantity conversion fields are part of the quantity conversion node of the service product, which are placed in the quantity conversion uh, collection. Yeah, so uh, make sure you select those fields. And as part of the purchasing for, uh, information in the UI, there's a uh, status associated with it, there's a unit of measure. So they are uh, placed as part of the root itself, uh, service product collection, uh, which are selected from the relevant nodes of the service product node. And sales, it, ha it needs sales organ distribution channel and the item group, sales UM. Uh, of the UI are uh, uh, relevant fields are selected from the uh, uh, and uh, service product uh, business object node and placed it in the collection called sales process information. Similarly, the valuation, it needs a company ID uh, and uh, other fields. So those are made it part of the service product uh, financial process uh, collection, which are uh, part of the service product uh, business object, but the account determination as such, which is a mandatory field, is a part of the different business object. That is uh, uh, a part of the service product valuation data business object. So, so, the, uh, so that, that, that um, the particular field is also selected uh, since it's mandatory to activate the process in financial process information. So uh, now the value 5000 is also entered because of that, yeah. And um, 